Hello and welcome to Efficient Strategy Gaming. Today I'd like to play Hearts of Iron 4 Man the Guns as Germany and see if we can't complete Operation Sea Lion. I have a naval invasion order ready here and it appears that I'm having problems crossing the English Channel because of naval superiority. So if you're going to do a naval invasion order uh, you need naval superiority in order to have the invasion start. Um, so as you can see I've taken Poland, Austria, and France and all I'm waiting for is like a red light here to somehow get across. I have all my air power over the English Channel and we're just hammering it as hard as we possibly can go. Maybe I'll add port strike onto here. Let's see how the air is doing. So I think we're winning the balance. I just need them to do a lot of damage to the English fleet here. And we'll see if I can't get across. You see here, we attacked this fleet. It looks like they have three ba uh, carriers, three battleships, cruisers, heavy ship, and destroyers. So they have quite a huge fleet there. Uh, and I took the naval orders and I put them on current engagement rule always engage. So let's put it on to strike force and see if we can't get them to engage. Like, the fleets are just sitting here. It's kind of like, what's the difference between patrol and strike force? Order the task force to wait at the closest naval base until an enemy task force is spotted. Once an enemy is spotted by one of your patrol task forces, your strike force will move to intercept it. Okay, so patrol is just for spotting. Okay, so you... You work both of them in conjunction then. Uh, I suppose since I have a Schnarren Horse class in this fleet, I'll have them be the strike force. And then we'll have my slow Dreadnought fleet here uh, be the patrol fleet. I don't know, this kind of looks like I might need both of them on patrol. I don't see my fleet engaging at all. So it would appear like the only surefire way of engaging with the English fleet is to put both on patrol, and we were getting engagements there. Let's see how my fuel is being consumed, mainly by the air, but this navy too. I don't think I can run my subs over here in the Baltic. Let's uh, give them hold orders. So they should go back to base. Or just chill there. Whatever you want to do. I just control click that to get them back to base. Oh, we got it. We got it. Uh, naval superiority here. Let's see if we can get a qu an opening. Let's see if we can get across. And we did. Perfect. Alright, I'm going to have to be super careful about this. I don't want to screw this up. This is the first Operation Sea Lion that I've tried. with man the guns. So we don't have an air base over there. Actually, I'll have these guys 
redistribute. I am wondering if Guderian's going to have supply over there. That's kind of what's going on in the back of my head right now. Okay, we got air superiority. I really want to micro these panzers. And it's going to be interesting to see if I run out of fuel here. If I do, I'm going to have to ground uh, my air support. Why is it taking you so long, my friend? They got no one. They got nothing. They have five divisions over here. This is going to fall fairly easily. Just circle around them. The old pincer movement. them head up to Glasgow. So since I haven't figured out what I really want to do with this production, I'm going to put everything into building these guns down here. I don't have enough resources to build more air and I don't have oil anyways. And we're basically constructing mono oil at this point. Okay, so that that alarm was because a uh, large ship is at low strength. They can go ahead and repair. But these these guys need to get back out there. So they're engaged right there. I need to cancel the repair task. Repairing Normandy. Well, if they go back out there, though, we'll just see if this fleet can make it back. Got to give these guys, like, specific places to go. I'm going to try to get this invasion done with just these ten divisions. Okay, got that done. Let's take everything out here on this peninsula. Glasgow, bro. Thought that's what we were doing. Oh. These guys are going to be screwed. There's nowhere to go. Almost out of fuel. Okay, so my fleet got back in. What did I lose here? Oh, no. So I lost um, pride of the fleet here. So I'm not sure. Recently lost pride of the fleet. Negative 10% to war support. I've got to figure out if there's a way of like redistributing the pride of the fleet or whatever. And I lost my new Schnarrenhorst class battleship. 
Oof. I lost the whole fleet. He's free France. Okay, so Boehm, I want to just keep on hold orders. I don't want him going out there. I want to see if England capitulates here. All right, there we go. We got it. Okay, elite Iron Man mode with historical AI. It is possible. So it was a little difficult. You just had to figure out the different orders for man the guns, like the naval orders to engage. But I would say that that was easier than waking the tiger to cross. Like there was just no subs on orders in the English Channel. It's typically the subs that will convoy raid and hold up the naval invasion. I didn't even use uh, naval invasion uh, orders. All I used was the patrol orders. And that's how I was able to engage the English fleet. And then while they were engaged, moved across. Okay, we got 29,000 equipment. It does not really say if we got oil or anything else. That's okay. So Vichy France is still my puppet. And they get the, the north of France. That's fine. I get Czechoslovakia. And all of, you know, England proper there. The British Isle. Oh, Italy had gotten... Egypt and uh, North Africa right there. Okay, I see what happened. Let's see if Case Anton is still over here. Yeah, Case Anton's still there. Can do some uh, paramilitary training. And German East Indies. And Centralist Australia. So these are our puppets. So we should have plenty of oil. Yeah. Oil should not be a problem. So now I can complete Operation Barbarossa. The purges just happened. So September 1937. So this man the guns is actually working out in my favor. I don't know if I was able to capitulate the Allies by September 1937. I'd have to go back and check. But that seems pretty quick to me. And I should be able to go up against the Soviets and steamroll them too. So maybe I'll do my next video on that. Maybe just a, a quick video showing uh, the conquest. Uh, so that's it. Allies capitulate September 15th, 1937. Thanks for joining me, guys. Uh, I might have one more video in this series just to see how easy or how hard it is to take over the Soviets. Have a good one. If you like this type of content, please remember to hit the thumbs up and subscribe. Thank you.